Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are dropping pretty soon. And I just want to go over why I'm hyped for the game and hopefully you guys enjoy my excitement. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button for upcoming Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos regarding hidden abilities, terror types, and guides. As well as follow my Twitch stream. I'll be streaming that live when the game drops. Number one, character models. Pokemon does not disappoint when it comes to character designs. Even now, the trainers seem more detailed compared to the past, like even just the regular trainer that you see in the overworld. And to start off the game, you get to meet up with your hot professor. God, ah! But the most important thing is the customization. You can customize your eyebrow eyelashes, like freckles and stuff like that. The customization is way more detailed, so I can't wait to put myself into the game. Hopefully they have a short, spiky hairstyle that I can use. Speaking of character design, number two, Pokemon designs. Obviously, we have some returning Pokemon. Hopefully, my favorite non-legendary, non-mythical Pokemon, Monchop, is in the game. Let's talk about the box legendary. I am gaining a Scarlet version, and I do like how they play on the past and the future with the motorbikes kind of thing. Um, so their design isn't too bad. I enjoy the design. Um, I just hope maybe in the game they have like an upgrade that where he can use his wheel in his chest because we know he doesn't use the wheel in the trailers but i'm hoping that's different in game i know they haven't announced any fighting pokemon thus far and that's my favorite typing but armor rouge so far seems to be my favorite i am getting scarlet so i am getting that fire psychic type looks like mega man <laughs> then we have belly bolt it's just so derpy for me, to me that I, I like it i don't know why and recently for Halloween, they announced the ghost doll Pokemon that drains the life force out of you. Though very cute. I think Gravar is how you pronounce it. Yo, I can't wait to see what it evolves into. I'm pretty sure it evolves. Dude, the Wiglet though. Oh my god, the Wig. So many memes of the Wiglet. The Wiglet is just funny. I can't wait to see what it evolves into. It's probably going to be like three Wiglets too, but it I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Out of the stars, I'm going to go with Quaxley because I like the way that is like just flaunts his hair around. <laughs> Yo, so vain, man. All right, so these are what I'm excited for and looking forward to. Obviously, there's other ones like Small Live, Palmy, the Paldean Whooper, Cloth, Lechonk, Grafai Eye, Fido, and the other starters as well. And the pre evolution for the Box Legendary and the Evolution Line for Giraffery. Number three, open worldness. It includes gameplay mechanics. Let's start off with the auto battle mechanic, the let's go feature. That one seemed nice. It's a nice feature to throw in, and you can get drops, and those drops you can use for crafting, right? And the picnic sandwiches give you buffs. That's pretty nice as well. I'm interested in the school stuff that's happening. Like, what kind of story is going to be in there? Are they have classes, mini games in, within the school? Is there some kind of upgrade progression mechanic that we don't know about? And as well as that, you can explore what you want, when you want, choose your own path, right? There's like three story paths, there's the typical gym battle stuff. And then there is the path of legend, and then there's a team star, and they're probably intertwined in some way. And you can go in any order you want. And then there's probably some post story that I'd use all three. Dude, I can't wait to just explore and find out all the secrets that is hidden in there. Just the open world is just, mmm. <laughs> now for my favorite thing in this, number four, multiplayer aspects. Finally, in the first time officially, we can have friends in the overworld walking together in like real time kind of thing. And I'm just wondering, like story wise, like are you able to progress the story together? Like, does you do stuff in this world also affects your world? And the same thing with like Pokemon, if you find like a shiny or whatever, is it per game instance or is it per player instance? So I'm very excited to see how this works out. There's also the picnic feature that you can all go in picnics and you can actually see people battling in overworld, right? Because then there is no loading screen in between the battles. So um, you can probably just spectate from the outside. I don't know if they can like say text or whatever, but you can probably see the animation when a Pokemon do their attacks. That would be great. I don't know. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Last but not least, there is the terror raid battles, right? This is the new multiplayer probably like the end game stuff where you actually team up with your friends and go in and battle like in sword and shield but this time is in real time and there's no turn taking you just doing your own pace like someone's slower you don't have to wait for them you just keep 
hammering down and you just got to beat that Pokemon within the time limit. And I'm excited for all these kind of battles that require a lot of coordination, I would say. Speaking of terrestrializing, it's like a new mechanic, right? Where you can get extra stab for your moves and you can also change your typing so you can use that defensively. That's that's interesting. It's not like you're getting overpowered stats or something. So it's going to be a lot interesting using Pokemon to have like 18 possibilities of a terror type. So that's going to help out the competitive scene for sure. Can't wait to see what people think of when it comes to this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and when the game drops, I'll be streaming it pretty much the whole day on Twitch. So make sure to follow me there and let me know what you guys are excited for. And with that, I'll see you guys in the game, right? Later days.